right, guys, welcome back to Talala Yoga. Still filming here in Sri Lanka. I'm really grateful to be at the amazing Talala Yoga Shala here. Uh, we've got lots of palm trees and monkeys in the background, so you never know what noises you're going to hear when we're filming, but I hope that you'll appreciate it as much as I do. Uh, today, I want to go over uh, myofascial train in the body, which is the superficial back line. So if you know anything about the fascial networks, and if you don't, completely fine. This video is for all levels. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing today is working through lengthening the back line, the posterior chain of fascia in the body. So what this means is that we're going to stretch the back of the body. In, in, in other words, this is how you can see it. Uh, maybe releasing any adhesions or any tensions that you have in the back of the body. For many of us, forward folding can be quite difficult. It might make us round the upper back, so we'll work towards uh, integrity in the spine before folding. And really allowing length to come into the back and bringing up these emotions, sometimes of courage. So the back line is um, something that's affiliated with the kidney meridian within traditional Chinese medicine. So if you've never studied any of this, it's completely fine. Even when you're doing the postures, there's beautiful things that are occurring in the chemical processes of the body that you might not understand, but you still receive the benefits of. So just know that the back line can bring up a lot of feelings of, you know, being afraid to show up in the world, not having courage and not being able to surrender. So not being able to let go. So this is a time for us to get rid of our control issues and just fold into space, not force ourselves there. So as you go through the practice today, try not to push yourself into folds, just allow your body to take you to your edge, relax there, breathe there, and focus on sending the energy downwards. And then maybe little by little, millimeter by millimeter, you might be able to fold a bit more into that courageous space of self-surrender, yeah? So we'll start sitting on our yoga mats with our legs forward. Alrighty guys, so with the feet forward, nice open chest, just begin to press the hands down alongside the hips, open the heart space dandasana. So really press through the calves, press through the femurs, so that maybe even the heels lift up, open the heart space. Legs are completely activated. You can shut the eyes down, feel the legs completely activated here. Really pressing down through the palms, sending energy downwards. Let go of activation in the legs. Relax. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, slowly fold forward halfway. Reach the arms forward, nice straight back. Once you reach your edge, allow the hands to relax alongside the legs and just fold in. Can keep the neck slightly activated looking down and forward so that you're a straight line of energy from crown down to the hips. If you can fold deeper, feel free to slowly come down. Let the ankles maybe roll out a bit, create some space, let the head drop in. If it feels good to take a hold of the feet, feel free to take a hold of the feet, fold in. And slowly peel the chest up and open the heart space. So we're going to bend the right knee, place the right foot by the left thigh. Pull the left hip back in space here. Straighten the shoulders over the left leg. Inhale, reach up and exhale, fold forward. Same thing, find your edge. Let the hands rest alongside that left foot, and then maybe fold deeper. If you can take a hold of the left foot, go for it. If not, it doesn't matter. So find your edge, listen to your own body. Breath is nice and smooth, inhalation and exhalation through the nostrils. So we're finding that ocean-like sound.
And slowly peel the chest up. Bring the right hand back behind the right hip. Stretch the hips up. Reach the left arm back. Open the heart space. Left foot is grounded here. And set the hips down. Stretch the right leg forward. Bend the left knee. Place the left foot beside the right thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lean forward. And then slowly find your edge. So it might be more upright. It might be coming all the way down. Maybe even taking a hold of the right foot. If the upper body begins to round, that means straighten the spine a bit more. Come out of the pose. So it's more important to keep integrity in the spine than it is to rounding and forcing the upper body down. So we're just beginning to pull that energy in from the belly, lengthening through the back of the leg. And just beginning to bring some homeostasis to the physical form here. So we work in those counter poses. As we extend through the back line, we contract through the front line. And like a seesaw, we begin to just shift energy back and forth. And slowly bring the chest up. Bring the left hand behind the left hip, right arm stretching back. Open the heart space, lift the hips. Really let the head drop back behind you, full expression through the belly and the heart. And slowly bring the hips down. So we're going to do a little move in proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation that I like. It's a big word, PNF. We're going to bend the knees, plant the feet about mat width distance apart. Drop the knees to the left. And as you do, you're going to come down behind you to the left, like you're doing a push-up with the hands. Look back through the left armpit. Lift the right leg up. So you'll feel length through the right hip. And you're looking under the left armpit, looking at the right foot. On an inhale, come up through center. We go to the other side. Drop the knees to the right. Turn all the way around to the right. Look down through the right armpit. Lift the left leg up. Inhale through center, other side. So you might shift where your arm's at to make sure you have space to do this, but you'll find lengthening along the whole front line and folding through the upper body. So again, on the inhale, come through center, move to the other side. So it's that push up on the fingertips with the elbows lifted. The leg lifts behind you as you look through the armpit. So you might feel silly at first, but we get a nice twist through the belly we get some folding through the upper body and lengthening through the front line of the trunk. So lots of things happening energetically here. Couple more. And this time, as you make your way through center, let the knees go wide, palms of feet together, and bring the feet closer towards the body. So we begin to work into the abductors here. Take a hold of the big toes, inhale, peel the chest up, and exhale, slowly begin to fold forward. Let the head drop in. It might feel good to walk the hands forward. And it might feel good to just stay upright on the palms. So whatever feels best for you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you're at. I realize I need to cut my toenails. 
This is a great time to really get to know yourself, all areas. So fall in love with your toes here. Be grateful that you have them to be able to practice and walk. And peel the chest up. Allow the knees to close. Bring the feet forward a bit. Hands behind you, fingers tracking back. And just allow the knees to fall from side to side. So create some space between the feet so that you can get a bit of a hip opener here as you open from side to side. Last one. And come back to center. Cross the ankles, come forward onto the hands, tabletop position. Send the right foot back behind you, tuck the toes under and press back through the right heel. So lengthening through the back line here, that right side. And set the right knee down, reach the left leg back, left toes tucked under, press back through the left heel. Set the left knee down. On an inhale, straighten the right leg up overhead, out to the right side. Exhale, bring the right arm underneath the body. Come to the outer blade of the right hand. So right on that pinky edge, set it down on the earth. Left arm stretches forward. So really finding a line of energy through the right pinky all the way up to the right shoulder. And still folding at the chest and the belly here. Bring the left hand closer to the face, press up. Reach the right arm through and up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, sweep the left arm beneath the body. Come on to the left pinky edge. Stretch the right arm forward. Find some balance. And place the right hand back closer to the face. Reach the left arm through and down to the earth. Tuck the toes under. Press the hips back. Downward facing dog. So even in downward facing dog, we're getting a lot of length along the back line. If you're feeling hunched in the upper back, and this is quite difficult for you, bend the knees a bit and really point the tailbone up towards the ceiling. So creating a flatter back here. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, slowly walk the hands towards the feet. So a little different than we're used to doing. Walk the hands towards the feet, folding in here, and taking a hold of opposite elbows, rocking from side to side, so in that fold, really finding that length along the back of the calves and the hamstrings. And really allow the head to hang here. Find relaxation. Hands to the earth. On an inhale, come up halfway. Heel toe the feet closer together, but not, not touching. 
and walk the hands over towards the right. Try to keep the hips square, fold in towards the right. If you really press down through the feet, you'll feel that energy running up through the left side of the body, from the left pinky all the way down to the left hip. Slowly come back through center, walk over towards the left. Slowly come back through center. On an inhale, slowly walk the hands out to a plank, nice and slow. And create a straight line of energy from the crown of the head back through the heels, firing up along that back line, pulling belly into the spine, slight rounding of the upper back. So bringing some strength into the back line, using the erector spinae muscles and all these muscles that are trailing down the spine, our trapezius, our rhomboids, everything is turning on and igniting here. Take an inhale. On an exhale, drop the knees and the chest here between the hands, hips are high. Inhale forward onto the belly, turn on the muscles of the lower back, lift the heart space, float the hands. So you can feel the lower back muscles engaging, lifting the chest, finding strength. Stay here. Lift a little higher. And exhale, bring forehead to the earth. On an inhale, bring the hands alongside the body, palms facing down. Lift the chest up. Really elongate the legs here, press the heart forward. Looking down and forward with the head, keep the spine nice and long again, firing up through those back muscles. Strengthening here along the superficial back line. Keep breathing, press through the pubic bone, stay lifted. And exhale, lower down, right cheek to the mat, arms alongside the body. So it's not just enough to lengthen the back line, or any of the lines for that matter, we also need to strengthen. This time, inhale, lift the chest up, reach the arms forward like you're Superman. Pause here, keep the shoulders down the back, hands just reaching forward, press through the pubic bone. Maybe the legs lift. Keep the knees coming in closer together, arms reaching forward, legs reaching back. Firing up through the back line, moving into that posterior chain of fascia and muscle. And slowly, arms alongside the body, left cheek to the mat, relax. Inhale, peel the chest up, reach the arms forward, legs up, and begin to swim. So just begin to swim, arms moving up and down, legs moving up and down, really firing up through those lower back muscles. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hands alongside the shoulders, tuck the toes, press back, downward facing dog. So we'll slowly begin to walk forward. You can walk forward in normal fashion or begin to cross the ankles as you move forward. Take as many steps as you need, bend the knees, whatever you need to come forward to meet the hands. As you come forward though, bring the left foot behind the right foot, peel the chest up and fold in. So even if you didn't cross walk at the beginning, the ankles are crossed now, left foot behind the right, fold in.
Inhale, peel the chest up. Walk the hands over towards the right, folding in. Find length through the left side body. And slowly come back through center. Step the left foot in front, right foot behind the left. Inhale, peel the chest up. And exhale, fold in. Bend the knees if you need to. So you might roll up onto the outer blade of a foot or so. But allow yourself to fold in. Inhale, peel the chest up. Walk the hands towards the left, fold in. And slowly come back to center. Unwind the legs. Let the feet go mat width distance apart. Inhale, peel the chest up. And exhale, slowly begin to lower the hips. Come into yogi squat, hands to heart. So we're not just going to stay here yet. We're going to strengthen again through the back line. Inhale, press to the bottoms of the feet. Slowly begin to lift up, engaging through the entire back line. Lifting up, reach the arms up. Exhale, draw the hips back, bend the knees, hands to heart, moving as slow as you can, coming into yogi squat. Inhale, lifts you up. Feel that engagement through the entire back line of the legs. Exhale, slowly fold in. So the slower and more controlled we go, the deeper engagement that we get. Inhale, lifts up. And exhale, lowers in. Nice and smooth. Couple more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, swan dive down into this wider fold. So feet are still mat with distance apart. Inhale, come up halfway. And exhale, fold. So this one's going to feel a little strange. So I will let you know how to do it first and then follow through. So you're going to reach the right arm behind the right leg to the inside of the left ankle. You might have to heel toe the feet in a bit. So right arm reaches around the back of the right calf to the inside of the left shin. Left arm reaches around the back of the left calf to the inside of the right shin. Inhale and exhale, fold in. Try to straighten the legs as much as you can, really folding in here. This is too much for you today. Feel free to just take a hold of opposite elbows, ragdoll from side to side. Let go of the binds. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Engage through those back muscles in the core. And exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back to plank position. Firing up through the back line and through the core. Pause here. Begin to shift the weight forward and backward. Really engaging now through the belly. So we're engaging through the front line and the back line. And then pause at the shoulders and begin to draw little squares here. Shifting your weight in little squares from the wrists and forward. 
draw in the opposite direction. And come back to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, knees and chest down. Inhale, slide forward onto the belly. Open the heart space. Lift the palms. And exhale, tuck the toes, hips to heels. Downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up behind you. Press right heel back. Down through the left heel. So engagement through the left heel, getting length through the left leg. Strength as we press that right heel back. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose, pause here. And set the right shin down behind the wrists. Left leg goes nice and long. So we're not coming down here in pigeon pose. Lift through the hips so the hips are lifted off the ground and we're pressing through the right knee. So we're engaging through the entire back line to keep everything lifted. Hands can rest on the right thigh and the right foot. So building that strength here through the back line first. Couple more breaths. and slowly sinking in. So let the left leg come down, get nice and long. Right shin parallel with the front of the mat or right heel in towards the groin, but keep the hips square either way. Take an inhale and an exhale. We slowly begin to fold forward. So folding to your level, if it means staying up on the palms or the forearms or outstretching forehead to the earth, go for it but slight tucking in of the toes, the right toes towards the right shin to protect the right knee. And keep the hip square. So if the right hip drops, place something underneath it, a block, a blanket, a t-shirt, dirty laundry. Peel the chest up, tuck the back toes under, step back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, roll forward to plank. On an exhale, knees and chest. Inhale, forward, open the heart space, float the palms. We're strengthening the lower back today. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips to heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, pause. Set the left shin down behind the hands. Right leg long, but lift through the hips, cinching at Mula Bandha, so that pelvic floor lock, open the heart space. Completely engage through the back of the legs here. Nice open heart, stay lifted. Extend the right leg nice and long, lower the hips. Find your pigeon. So either the left heel is closer towards the groin or more parallel here with the left knee. Peel the chest up, inhale. 
and exhale, fold forward. So again, if that left hip drops off, place a blanket or dirty laundry. It could be clean laundry. I don't know why I said dirty. <laughs> but keep the hips square, fold in, maybe bringing the hands all the way down, forehead to the earth. Slowly peel the chest up. And this time, just lean to the left. Bring the right leg forward in front of you. So we come back into that full forward fold that we began with. Hands alongside the hips. Engage through the legs. Open the chest and dasana. Really engage through the legs. Maybe even the heels lift because we're pressing so much through the quads, through the calves. Keep engaging, use your breath, stay calm and collected. Slowly deactivate, inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, slowly folding forward, surrendering, letting go of that control, letting the ankles go loose, finding your edge and folding in. And slowly peel the chest up. Find a cross-legged seat. Hands resting on the knee. Shut the eyes down. Begin to rub the palms together, creating a heat. Bring the right hand to the left shoulder, left hand to the right shoulder, and just fold in. So a nice little folding of the head to the heart here, feeling the back of the neck grow long, those muscles down between the scapula. Begin to find a bit of length, less restriction. And just a bit of gratitude here for showing up to your mat today, for being present for being embodied, for breathing, for moving, for connecting. Hands come together at hearts, bowing head towards the hearts. We say namaste.